this time, a major leaguer had 160 RBIs, Ray, which he is eight away from, and there's a rip to left field for a base hit, which Greer will stop at second base. The last time a major leaguer had more than 160 RBIs, 60 years ago, 19... last year for Joe and 28 starts. Two and one. Juan Gonzalez. High and deep down the left field line. Jones chasing it in the corner. It's gone. A home run. So Gonzalez gets one back right away for the Cleveland Indians and it's eight to three. Just left Texas, where the Texas Rangers lead the American League in home runs. Gonzalez, look at his lower part of his body opens up, but likes to extend those arms. Very strong. The ball going out about 350 feet away. Gonzalez hitting his 14th home run of the year. Gonzalez in the night. A couple of well-hit balls. One going over the fence and left. Seventh home run allowed in his 27 appearances so far this year. Last year he allowed 15 home runs in 76 appearances. The strength of Gonzalez didn't even look like he hit that ball good. It still went out left center. ball that is up and Gonzalez just goes out and gets it. It's a hanging breaking ball and it's a good location. It's away but Gonzalez very strong just reaches out and smokes it into left field for a base hit. A 330 average to go with the power that he shows. And there is a ground ball base hit back up the middle so Texas has the go ahead run on. Big night last night in Minnesota in the fourth inning. Gonzalez went deep and very deep and in the very next inning the very next pitch he saw Juan Gonzalez went deep and that one's hit well in the left field it's a base hit third base and so twice in this ball game base running mistakes by the twins have benefited the Rangers go back to the first inning with first and second Lou Ford was doubled off second deep drive center field Torrey Hunter no chance home run Minnesota five. They've come from down five nothing. Number 21 this year for Juan Gonzalez. Number 426 in his career tag that is tied with Billy Williams on the all-time home run list now. now. You can't throw a fastball hard enough to throw it by Juan for a strike out over the plate like that. He might foul it off. He might make it out on it. He was the best record in all of baseball. Hosting Juan Gonzalez and the Texas Rangers in the first of a two-game series should be in the air. And here is the red-hot Juan Gonzalez. Nine home runs, 48 RBIs. 48 RBIs in 37 games. Everybody's talking about whether or not Roger Maris's home run record might fall this year, and it might well. 
And there's a high drive to deep left center field. Way back. And that is gone. Gonzalez well over the 399 side. For his 10th home run and his 49th run batted in. He hadn't had a lot of luck against David Cohen batting average wise. Only 231 in the career, but that's his fourth homer. And that was one of those ones that everybody in this ballpark knew when contact was made. One nothing, Texas. First base, number 22. Look at the extension. Just take one look, put the head down, and go into your trot. In seven full years in Texas, he has averaged 36 home runs and 110 runs batted in. That's a fair ball down the left field line. Gonzalez on his way to second base. We may have a play at second base, and he is safe. Friday night. Had only hit one home run all year until Friday. So he's got a lot of home runs still to come, I would think. Good one at second. There's a fair ball, and Gonzalez will get an RBI. Goodwin scores the game's first run. And there's a double to add to his 1999 total. The 19th RBI of the year for Gonzalez. One Two nothing. The Rangers lead on a windy, wet night here on the prairie. Right center field. Ramirez racing back. That one is gone. Home run, Gonzalez. swing this pitch is up and away this one's out over the plate the other one was inside see that pitch is away he just goes the other way with it I mean this is just beautiful hitting right there look at that good extension perfect balance and power Gonzalez has some remarkable background notes the one that jumps at you he averages better than an RBI a game and this year he's doing the same 55 games 57 RBIs One of the truly outstanding young players in the game. High fly ball into deep left center field. Butler to the wall. It is gone. Juan Gonzalez hits his 18th and made it look easy. Of course, last year, all he did was hit 47 home runs and 144 runs batted in. He is truly a superstar, and he gets paid that way, too. And he should. Juan Gonzalez, a torn ligament in his right thumb has slowed him up, but he is coming back with a roar. And the batter now is Will Clark. Meanwhile, as we see Gonzalez sitting back and relaxing, we can take another look at the home run. See that bat? It was almost parallel to the ground. And he had to go out to get the knuckleball, but he's so big and strong. Look at that, lunging at it. He is 6'3 and 220. He is quite a player. Juan Gonzalez, the home run leader, 25, Puerto Rico, a very proud player who takes his role model seriously. Yeah, for a young man like me, a young player like me, it's important to be a role model. I've been blessed by God, and for me, it is of utmost importance to prove to the youth in and out of the playing field that I am, in fact, an example and a good human being. I want that youth to emulate me. If it's not in the game, well, outside of the game in any field. There's a great future ahead. Things can be done the correct way. However, there must be a lot of sacrifice and desire. Pretty interesting comments made by Juan Gonzalez. Luis Mayoral doing the interpreting for us, works in the PR department here with Texas. Juan does speak English, but in order to get the real heart of the feeling, still easier for him, obviously, do it in his own tongue. And 
Did it very well. Well, to show you how popular Gonzalez is last year after he led the league in home runs and returned back to Puerto Rico, over 100,000 fans greeted him at the airport. That's unbelievable. He at second, Greer at first. And a long drive to left. Into the corner and into the seats. Well, George Steinbrenner better check the deed because these days it's Juan Gonzalez who owns the New York Yankees. <laughs> Hit over 500 against them for the year, and this is his sixth home run and 19 RBIs now in just 11 games against the Yankees for Juan Gonzalez. He missed a few against New York this year because of injuries. Well, I said if you're going to miss inside, you have to miss off the plate inside. He was trying to go back inside, and he moved that ball about eight inches out over the plate. Now watch, he's trying to go inside. This pitch is not inside, and Gonzalez drills it. That's the danger of pitching these sluggers inside. If you miss, miss off the plate in. This is a guy that you just have to be careful with. He didn't have any place to put him, but he did not make the pitch that he wanted. He missed only about six inches. I mean, it may seem like a look at the target, and look where the ball ends up. A little bit out over the plate, and Juan knows it's gone. It's just a matter of whether it's fair or foul. If you're going to keep coming inside to that guy, Joe, you can't knock. Yeah. You don't hit 47 home runs throughout the year without sitting he on... He creams some long home runs. And I'll tell you, as soon as he steps out of the dugout, he'll start hacking. It doesn't matter where the ball is. He'll be swinging at it. Goes after that one. Base hit left field. Juan Gonzalez wants that one, and he'll get it. Laser beam home run to left, and the Rangers are right back in it. His 10th home run has brought the Rangers right back in it. It's a 5-3 game. And with Park at 116 pitches, you got to think this is the end of the line. Juan Gonzalez here tonight. You know, there's no word whether Jose made 40% of his money during those three years of the of the bubble bursting. That ball blasted to left field. Juan Gonzalez back in Arlington has broken the game open. And again, Shanaho Park. Every run allowed on a home run. But then a walk and a hit batter and a hanger that Juan hits right down the line for a home run. So for the most part, it was a good effort. When they come, they come in bunches. And before you know it, you have a week where you knock in 14 or 15 runs and you're right back where you want to be. You look at Juan with three RBIs and over 70 at bats. That is very unusual. He hammers that one a deep left. Sadler goes back, jumps, he can't get it. Carries back toward the infield, and Juan stands at second with a double. Hurt Juan as far as RBIs go. You see the leg kick and getting that leg down early. As the guys in front of him tend to clear the bases a little bit, they rod in Rafi. And over the last week, Rafi has been playing with a very bad leg, so he hasn't been running very well. And so it's been difficult for him to score from first base on a double or from second base. Kenny's gone over 100 pitches in each of his last four starts. It is June 1st, but it's not uh, very, very hot here at the ballpark tonight. It was warm around uh, batting practice, but it's cooled off nicely. It's a ground ball up the middle. It is through. Romano turns, but holds at second base. And Rangers still with a chance to eke out their fourth run of the night. Gonzalez, Zeal, and Kelly for the Rangers here in the fourth inning. KC putting that Gonzalez shift down on the left side. Down the line, it is fair. Into the corner, and Gonzalez into second base. He's got a leadoff double here in the fourth. It snaps a string of nine consecutive hitters retired by Rosado. Ball to the left side. It would be an extreme shift Boy, to be able to get to this one. You've got someone playing right there. You deserve to catch it. With two outs, the 2-2 pitch. And there is a base hit in the left center field. 
Juan has his second hit off Rosado. Still out in front of him. Now he tries to sneak a fastball by him. Throws a fastball belt high, and the result is a rope to left field. Juan is up there. He is geared up to hit the fastball. And what you have to do if you're the pitcher is you have to keep throwing that pitch until he shows you that he can make an adjustment and hit it. That's Ground just a caravan. Will be at the Oak Cliff branch through the left side. Gonzalez is aboard. This year he's on a pace to drive in only 60. Whacked in a right center base hit. And watch Juan Gonzalez. He uses the big part of the field. That's right up the middle. He doesn't try to roll it over. This is a rocket over the second baseman Nunez's head. When you think of the Rangers and uh, offense, you think of Juan Gonzalez and his big bat. Juan Gonzalez, the great slugger. Talk with Joe Morgan before the game. Juan, last year you guys won the division, but you came up a little short. You've got Rafael Palmero hitting behind you. What does that mean to you this year? Well, uh, well this year, you know, uh, the first first thing is uh, staying hurt to everybody and uh, continue playing uh, together. Uh, great chemistry inside uh, the team and uh, you know Rafi behind me is uh, is great. Because, uh, you know Rafi is one of the, uh, the best left-handed hitter in, in baseball and uh, I have more protection behind me. Say something in Spanish to all the people that watch it. Oh, para la gente que están viendo y espían esta noche, especialmente mi familia, mi esposa y mi hija y toda mi gente en Alto de Cuba, pues saludos desde Arlington y para para adelante con Dios siempre. And he said good luck to everybody. Good luck to everybody. Rafael Palmero on deck. Two runs already in for the Rangers. And he smokes that one. Fair into the corner. Palmero digs it out, and Juan Gonzalez has a double. Right center field. You hang anything inside, middle of the plate in, he's going to rip it to left field. And you can see this ball is actually fair by hits right on the chalk line. And it's fair. He gets great extension with every swing. I mean, he swings like every ball could go out of the ballpark if he gets it in the air. Breaking down like that. Juan Gonzalez, the hitter. He swings at the breaking ball from Belcher and gets a blue single in the center field. Contest. If any Ranger steals tonight, she wins $100. There's a liner to left field for the base hit. Clark goes to Well, it ends it. Base hit up the middle by Gonzalez. And he's two for three. And it gets Gonzalez into the 280s. On base via an error. At first. And Gonzalez hits a scooter through Velarde. Here comes the tying run. Here goes the go ahead run to third. The throw late. And one and one to count to Gonzalez. Bouncer up the middle. That'll get both. Juan was hit in the head for the first time in his 12 year career by Seattle's Bob Walcott in June. Fortunately, he was not seriously hurt. Yeah. Driven to left center field. The wall. Nixon will get it back in, and here is Gonzalez in with another extra base hit. He is some player. Entering last Thursday, he had missed 94 games since he came here in '94. Meanwhile, Gonzalez buries that one in the bleachers, and it's Dodgers 10, Rangers 6. So for Juan Gonzalez, he has a single, a double, and now a home run. For Gonzalez, his 33rd home run, and he now has 108 runs batted in. For Juan Gonzalez, one of those no doubt about it jobs. The pitch was down, maybe a splitter, and he just went out and got it, and there was no doubt. He knew it all the way. Just enjoyed watching it. But in the inning now, Cedeno lined out to nine inning game that Texas played this year was against the Angels in June. Three hours, 41 minutes. That's going to be a base hit. He just kind of... Gonzalez has missed 25, 26 ball games. And a ground ball by Soho into left. 
Rodriguez will stop at third. Well, deflecting the ball, that would allow Pudge Rodriguez to score from second base. It slowed it up just enough. Just off his glove, but it's charged well by Brian Hunter in left field because he came in on that ball quickly. Jerry Nair on yeah. the <laughs> Here you see where he was last year. And the only difference was his batting average, so to speak. Well, so to speak, yeah. That's yeah. about. He might have scored a few more runs if yeah. he was on base a little more often, but otherwise. Well, they're, they're making an effort to keep the ball in on him when they throw him fastballs. Headed for right field and through the hole. Coming around third, McLemore, and he will score easily. Stairs will throw to second. So Juan Gonzalez does not hit it well, but it certainly got the job done a little bit. Watch, they're trying to pitch him inside. They want the pitch up. Then he doesn't get it up, and he gets it out over the plate a little bit. He still jammed him, but he finds a hole on the right side. If he would have gotten the ball where he wanted, up and in, in a little bit more, he probably would have been able to get Gonzalez out. But that's the trouble. If you make a mistake with good hitters, they make you pay. Now there are the two sluggers talking slugger talk. Mark McGuire and Juan Gonzalez exchanging notes. He hit his first 100 homers. I mean, this guy just burst upon the scene in his second full season of the big leagues. He had 43 homers. Let me see some of those numbers. From the Rangers first. That one is smashed. Way back there in the left field. That is into the bleachers, the football bleachers. That would have been a souvenir in a Raiders game. <laughs> Juan Gonzalez with a shot. And the fans throw it back. They don't want it. 17th home run of the year for Gonzalez, and the Rangers are hoping that the big guy is ready to, to bust through now. He had two here last night and another one tonight. That's his third RBI of this game as well. Well, let's see the targets down low. Let's see where the ball is. Well, you couldn't put it on a tee any better than that, 3-0. and uh, If Gonzalez was going to sit it on a tee, that would be where it was. Would have been. I'm just like the gunner. I coined a phrase. <laughs> Texas Rangers, Gonzalez and McGuire both going deep. Stay tuned now. And I think, too, Juan Gonzalez maturing. Off the end of the bat, and it sounded like it was a broken bat, but out of the reach of Vizcaino for a leadoff single, Ray. You were taking lead after an inning. Here's Juan Gonzalez batting 301. He sends that toward the gap in right center. Long run for Tinsley the other way, and that time he can't get it. Troy O'Leary plays it, and Gonzalez has a leadoff double on the first pitch of the inning. Five clip. Opposite field stroke here, and of course they're playing him slightly to pull, so no way Tinsley could catch up to it. Gonzalez with the leadoff double. That seven-game hitting streak matches his longest of the year now. It's also hit in up the middle base hit. Rene Gonzalez will be waved around by Jerry Naren. Here's the throw to the plate by Tinsley offline. 5 to 3, Texas. This is the 68 Sports Red Sox Television Network. a three-run homer for Juan Gonzalez. Well, they're claiming that McGee caught the ball. <laughs> no chance. It bounced, and then he bounced when he went over the wall. 14th homer of the year for Gonzalez, and he continues to average Right around an RBI per game now has 38 runs batted in in 38 ball game. This is why I say he's beautiful to watch. See that pitch is away and he just goes out and gets it and hits it over one of the deepest parts of this ballpark. There you see McGee trying to make the catch and just barely over the glove of McGee and the ball bounces in the bullpen. I want to show you why I think Juan Gonzalez is just such a fine home run hitter. Now watch his lower body and watch where he strides to. Now right there, he's in perfect hitting position. Now the ball's away. Watch what his upper body does. His upper body goes to the ball. It goes out there to hit it. It does not pull off this way. 
See that how he extends out Ron just Gonzalez and by the book notorious first ball hitter last year he hit 451 when he put the first pitch in play that was amongst the leaders in all of baseball he likes to get the arms extended and as he showed you last time up he'll chase the high fastball on the low curve once he gets two strikes on it. So if you're going to throw a first pitch strike to this guy you have to hit a good location or put something extra on it because he pounds on first pitches. Field for a base hit. Palmero will stop at second base, so with one out, the Rangers have a pair of boards. About how he likes to get the arms extended. Watch here, he'll have them fully extended. Ball out over the plate. That's a home run swing that he just didn't get on the quite on the right part of the bat. The complete game on Wednesday, 89 pitches. Gonzalez with a base hit to center. He went out to get one. Ruben Sierra. And coincidentally, both hits it on pitches out here, and they've been out to reach for them. And of course, great extension, and I would see, I would think more fastballs will be coming inside. Gonzalez followed up A Rod single in that fourth inning with one of his own, took a pitch away, and pulled it for a base hit, a weak base hit to left field. This one's up the middle, pass to Hata. The Orioles won the first two games of the series against Anaheim. Here's the 0-2 to right center field. Another hit for Gonzalez. Two out of 23 games, Gonzalez has at least one hit. Four straight fastballs on the outside corner. And Juan catches up to the fourth one and hits a line drive to right field. Scored this season and the 149 RBIs. Fifth time a Ranger has done that. Sierra did it twice, Gonzalez twice, and Palmero did it once. And Juan's around on this one. This one is hit way back to left field. See you later. Off the facade of the upper deck in left field. And the lead is cut in half. I think what that hit, hit Bill, was the walkway. Was up it there. the, the catwalk? I hit the catwalk. I don't think we ever got a chance to see how far that ball would have gone. It looked like a hanging breaking ball. Reeker made a couple of good pitches down and away, but not this one. Let's look at Alder inside. And then gets the ultimate hanger right down the middle, belt high. And that ball was way out of there in left field, and the Rangers have struck right back and got right back in the ball game. That's a pitch Reeker would like to forget. Times and not, he's going to put something up in that box score. Juan Gonzalez with a fielder's choice drove in his 100th run of the season in the first inning. He's up now, and he slugs this one down the line. Fair ball. It'll rattle off the wall. Greer is into third. Gonzalez into second with a good throw by Justice, but that was double all the way. Here. Well, on this double, he's been nursing some hamstring injuries. Aggie gets the fastball up. Look how quick. That's a long swing right there, but look at how quick he gets those hands inside the baseball. He's able to keep that line drive fair down the left field line. He hammers one to deep left field. Brady Anderson races back, leaps, and it's gone. A home run. Mills won the first battle. Gonzalez wins the second time around, and the Orioles' lead is cut to 6-5. to five. I'm not saying it was inevitable, but you guy, he got a guy here who hits for average. He knocks in runs. He scores runs. He is totally competent at the plate. And this is the second time around. Mills has made some real good pitches, but that wasn't one of them. He left that one up and out over the plate. And Gonzalez has his second home run of the season. And that's going to be it for Mills. What a valiant effort by Anderson out there to try to snag that ball before it got into the hands of the fans out there in the left. Has the diving Gomez. Anderson's throw to the plate is offline. Two run score. And it's a two run game. Seven to five. Two men on, two men out of the first inning. There's a fly ball to left center field. Very deep. Mac is back. And it's a three run homer for Juan Gonzalez. His second home run of the year. Fourth, fifth, and sixth RBIs. And here come the Rangers again, averaging eight runs a game. And they've got three home, 
just like that. Well, he got away with the pitch to Sierra. He just didn't get his up. He had a line drive, but Gonzalez lifts it over the short fence in left field. That was not a blast by Gonzalez, but this ballpark does not need a blast to get out of here. You see the target. Now watch how much he misses the target. Kipper can get the strong right-handed hitters out. Up the middle base hit. He doesn't get this one out. Rounding third and scoring will be Dean Palmer. Over to third, Palmero. The throw. Safe. Just barely. Scoring Palmer. The fourth RBI of the game for the 22-year-old Juan Gonzalez. And Texas is right back ahead, four to three. That's a good piece of base running and good hitting by Gonzalez. Gonzalez hits the ball well, pitches away, and he just goes right back through the middle with it. Good piece of hitting. He didn't try to pull it. 60 feet away, and you're facing a great hitter. Oh, yeah. In this situation, uh -oh. there's a rocket. Now, Albert looks up. You can put it on the board. Just a line drive. A shot for a two run homer. And it's 3 2 Texas. You could have hung out all the drawers in Cook County on that one. Yes, sir. It's a fastball. I tell you, he's a great fastball hitter from anywhere from the belt on down. He will absolutely annihilate it. That's his 38th homer. He now has 135 RBIs to lead the world in that category. Watch his 1-0 fastball. Oh, my. Just about center cut. Boy, he gets that front elbow in and leads with that. Probably as good as anybody in the game. And of course, the Rangers letting Pete Incavilia go in spring training, making room for Gonzalez. They were hoping, though, that Gonzalez would play center field. They're going to try to work him into playing center field. and went back to third. He had a chance to get it. Three one pitch grounded toward the hole. Bro just can't get it. A one out single for Gonzalez. And he's up in the strike zone here to Gonzalez and a sinker ball pitcher. That's a bad trend. Oh there's a hard shot fair. And that was up. And here comes going into second base. Palmero. The ball gets loose. Here comes Palmero. Here comes the relay to the play. He is safe. And he pulls it. Fair ball into the left field corner. A fan interfered. It'll be a ground rule double. Probably would have been two bases anyway. So Haney got inside on Gonzalez and Juan turned on it big time. For Gonzalez, his 17th double of the year, his 36th extra base hit. Haney against Burkett tonight. We are all of a sudden, Tom, getting well-pitched tight games. Almost more than we are getting those big blowout high scoring games. Here's a shot way back to left field. You can kiss this one goodbye. Launched by Juan Gonzalez. Home run 35. of the majestic variety. Well, LeBron had an opportunity his first time up to drive in a run. He was up with men at first and third and one out and popped out. But he took matters into his own hands right here with an inside pitch. The catcher sets up inside. Haney threw it inside, but Juan was looking for it and hit a high, long home run. Two miles an hour. One ball and one strike. And there's the problem just in the last five ball games, four for 33. Uh, that's, that's an amazing statistic, especially when you have players like Will Clark, Juan Gonzalez, Mickey Tellison, Rodriguez. These people have driven in runs in their career. And the long one, deep in the left. Goodwin looks up. It's gone! A home run! Number 20 for Gonzalez. 2-0, Texas. Well, the mistake he made was the high fastball. He got 
like Gonzalez is swing and miss, and then he threw one harder. He threw this one 82 miles an hour up, and Gonzalez was able to get up to it. He threw him all fastballs, and here's a high fastball, 82 miles an hour, and Gonzalez connects, and once he gets good wood on it, you can forget about it. Pretty big guy there, so don't worry about it when he hits it. Mighty tough for Nolan Ryan not to have a win yet. Deep to left field, way back, looking up, goodbye, home run, Juan Gonzalez, number six. so much about the Texas hitters Juan Gonzalez a year ago 27 homers 102 RBIs and yet one of the unknown soldiers here in Texas full extension this one about 415 feet and it is a one run game so some help from God a little bit in on the hands of Gonzalez big Ben against the Rangers has suffered a loss this year. 3-2 hit in the air. Deep to left center field going back. Johnson looking off the wall. Holding up at second base Sierra. He'll have to stop at third. Well, Gonzalez might have chased a pitch up. It was borderline. I thought Lance Johnson had a chance of catching this ball and quite frankly should have. Lance Johnson usually makes those kind of plays. But for some reason, he got off stride a little bit, couldn't quite find the ball in the wall, and it hit at the base of the wall. There's a base hit on the breaking pitch in the left field. The Reigns gets to it. Palmero holds it second. Oh, he just caught this one off the end of the bat. Didn't really mash this ball. He'll take it. Oh, you're not kidding, especially when you're scuffing. Got the ball. Way ahead on the count. Gonzalez swinging at an 0 2 fastball. A little looper towards center coming on is Bernie Williams. It's going to drop in front of him for a base hit. Instructions for Chuck Merriweather. Strike zone. Certainly could have been a little low. Here's Juan Gonzalez, who's walked and singled. He was the first man Arabu faced, and it was a little blooper into center field. Now he goes out to right. O'Neill gives chase, but he won't be able to get to it. Gonzalez stops now, sprints for second base. O'Neill digs it out and throws to Martinez. It puts runners at second and third. It's the first threat against Hideki Arabu. Well, the first time up, he took it off the ground. And that one is upstairs. In fact, it looked like Juan almost tried to check his swing on it. Watch the bat. He almost tried to hold up, but he is so strong that he still drove it down the right field line for a double. Base hit by Gonzalez. One out. The Rangers have the tying run aboard. So that'll bring up Paul Merrill. And this just wasn't trying to drive it out, Ray. No slider, and he has that. You remember him hitting the slider off the end of his bat earlier, and he stayed back just a little longer. The ball was a little fatter on the plate, and able to get a little bit more of the bat barrel on the ball. The count. He was going to swing the bat. Rip, base hit. Rangers have the lead. Clayton scores. Kelly scores. Six to four. Six. So the man who had the most RBIs in the American League in 49 years a year ago with 157, Juan Gonzalez, has done it to the Yankees. Well, you know it's not a fluke. This man loves to drive runs in and just a pit right up there. They hit me all over the place. Ball driven to the left field. Curtis has a little problem with the ball there. Runner coming all the way in. Pitcher for the first time. 3-2. And a fair ball down the left side. Extra bases for Gonzalez. Sierra will score to give Texas the lead. And Gonzalez will hold it second with a double. 
Brady, you pitch deep in the count, and Kavanicki went three and two. Nobody out. He comes a little more to the center of the plate, perhaps even kicks something off. 50th run bad at the end of the year for Gonzalez on his 11th double. Well, they've got a bunch of hitters in this lineup who love that high front leg kick, don't they? We showed you Sierra. Reimer does it. Houston does it. You just saw Gonzalez do it. 